ready to learn how to create better looking graphics with ease using one single Canva element? Yep, just one element. Drum roll, please. Let me introduce to you one of my all time favorite, most used Canva design elements, the transparent gradient. I use this element in so many of the graphics that I create to market my business and I am constantly telling everybody about it. It's basically one of Canva's best kept secrets. And in this video, I'm showing you how to add and manipulate eye-catching designer level gradient fades to your designs so you can level up your graphics, look professional, all while making designing easier. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name's Kristen and I share branding and graphic design tips, tricks, tutorials, and productivity hacks for online entrepreneurs who don't have tons of time to waste in Canva. I used to only be able to achieve this look in my fancy Adobe design software, but have since fallen head over heels in love with Canva. And this element played a huge role in my breakup. Not only am I going to show you how to create this fun fading gradient technique, but I'm also gonna show you some examples of how you can actually use this in your graphics so that you you can look professional online. Let's pop over to my Canva account so I can show you how to level up your graphics with the single most magical element that Canva has to offer. The great thing about this is that you can use this technique in any graphic that you're creating to market your business from Pinterest pins, social media posts, YouTube thumbnails, website graphics, you get the idea. I just have this beautiful stock photo here on the canvas. Kind of makes me want to have a glass of wine, but it's a little bit early for that. Canva has tons of gradients that you could possibly choose from, but we are looking for a very specific one. Head over to elements and in this search bar, you need to type in gradient that fades to transparency. You are looking for this purple gradient right here. Do yourself a favor and when you locate this gradient, be sure to either star it or add it to a folder so you know exactly where it is every time you wanna use it. I have a specific folder in my brand folder called Design Elements, and that's where my gradient lives. Anytime I need to find it, all I do is pop over to that folder, click, and boom, it's there on my canvas. There are a few things that I absolutely love about this specific gradient. This gradient fades to transparency. And what I mean by transparency is that you can still see the background image popping through the element. Many of the gradients that you'll find in Canva do not offer this, and that's why you need to find and use this specific one. You can also change the color of this gradient most likely you are not going for the purple look and you'll probably want to change this gradient to either white, one of your brand colors, or maybe even pull a color from your stock photo. I've changed it to white and here you can see now I have a smooth fading gradient over my image. You can then select both your gradient and your background image and move it around to create as much or as little white space as you need. It's really easy to incorporate your brand colors or other colors from the photo by simply copying and pasting the transparent gradient. I'm just going to change this gradient to one of my brand colors. I can adjust it from here if needed, or I can even create a more dramatic effect by stacking the gradient and adjusting them together. This is a really fun way to add a touch of your brand's color palette into the graphics that you're creating. This element also makes it incredibly easy to blend hard edges of your photos to make your graphics really stand out. I'm just gonna add the image, add on my purple gradient. You can rotate this to the left, the right. You can have the gradient fade coming from the top or the bottom, whatever's going to work best with your image. I'm just going to position this right here on the very right edge of the photo. It is important and I'm just going to make this white and then select the gradient and change it to any color you like. I'm just gonna go with white. You can adjust the gradient as much or as little as you like to create a seamless faded photo background. Let's take this a step further. You can create dynamic colored fades by copying the element, pasting it back onto your design, flipping it horizontally and aligning them back to back to create another interesting effect. If you don't like that dark area that appears, you can simply adjust the size of your element and that tends to make that line a little bit softer. You can even mix two different color gradients to create a really interesting look. 
Sometimes I just add it for a fun design effect or to infuse my brand colors into the stock photos that I'm working with. I even pair this element with a color overlay. Just add a rectangle to my stock photo background, drop the transparency of that, and that also creates a really interesting look. Let me show you some ways that I have used this element in some of the graphics that I've created. This is a promotional graphic and I use the transparent gradient by overlaying it in one of my brand colors on a solid color background. I've also used the gradient in things like Instagram carousels. Now this is a really subtle example, but each of these slides has a transparent gradient bumped up to each other that creates it's a really like wavy effect and I think that's really cool. I'm always loading up my email marketing with graphics since I'm a graphics girl. So I jazz up my graphics and make them a little bit less bland by adding a light transparent gradient to some of the edges. I wasn't so keen on this bright pink background. So I added a simple gradient just to give it a little bit more dimension. I've done the double-sided gradient trick in this blog post featured image. I have one of my brand colors as the background, drop the transparency on that a little bit so you can see the stock photo peeking through. And then I've rounded it out with one transparent gradient on each side of the graphic. Looks pretty cool, right? If you don't know this about me by now, I am totally obsessed with designing Pinterest pins and I use the transparent gradient in a lot of my pins just to create a more flowing and dynamic background. Here's another example. And this example is so subtle, but here's my transparent gradient and I used this to specifically make the text pop right off of the background. If I didn't have that there, the text would be really hard to read and my audience would probably just keep on scrolling. There's a background image and I've used brand color to really transform that boring old stock photo. Doing this also created some natural white space on the top of this pin image for me to fit in the headline. I used the gradient here because I really wanted to make the call to action stand off of the bottom of the pin. I've incorporated the gradient to the top of this stock photo, which gave me some extra white space to incorporate the text on this pin. I've incorporated all kinds of transparent gradients throughout the blog post featured image templates and it really does help make your text pop right off the background. Gradients, gradient, and more gradients. In this YouTube thumbnail, I have stacked side-by-side -side gradients just to infuse my brand a little bit more and make sure that this text is readable on that busy background. There are so many ways that you can use this element to level up your graphics. I encourage you to get creative with gradient that fades to transparency element. If you found this tutorial helpful, be sure to let me know in the comments. I'd love to hear how you are going to incorporate gradients into your graphics. And before you go, don't forget to subscribe to my channel because I have all kinds of branding, graphic design, and Canva goodies up my sleeve ready to share with you. I can't wait to see what you create. Bye.